Welcome back to the Eastern Bloc. So here I am about to hit the 100,000 kilometer mark with my Ford Focus Mark II daily driver and coincidentally or not I'm about to hit I'm about to conclude the first season of my YouTube endeavors. I know that both these milestones may not seem much to you, I agree there, but I think it's a good start to kick back and see where I'm actually heading with this uh, um, with this uh, artistic uh, endeavor and maybe talk about my experiences and do a little vlog style uh, content hopefully for your uh, entertainment. So let's get to it. Also, I have switched to a new style of filming, partly because I have gotten a new piece of kit. I'm actually filming with a GoPro 10 and partly because my car is very dirty and I didn't want you to see all the, <laughs> all the exposed angles. But anyway, here it is. So the bodywork is actually well, it's pretty nasty and that's due to the fact that it's it's it has snowed all all night last night and well there's all sorts of uh, salts and um, anti-slipping materials on the road uh, there's mud so yeah the car is basically very dirty and even if I washed it by the time I, I would get with it uh, on my filming uh, site while well, it would have gone dirty again so I figured let's go native and just show it as it is since this is an actual daily driver <clears throat> also check out my stomping grounds I don't know if you can see the building in the background it looks like an old Soviet factory but it's actually the place that heats up all my town so uh, I know in clear weather it seems uh, it looks way more interesting. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but here, there it is. It's kind of interesting nonetheless. So here we go. I had a lot of fun, like so much fun doing these videos. Uh, probably doesn't show, actually I'm more confident than not that my first few attempts are very rigid and uh, while well, lacking in any depth and they're mostly uh, me talking awkwardly in front of the camera with those undesirable pauses between takes and so on but actually it was the most fun endeavor I have ever uh, took on as a young adult and it's a come on it's an original attempt so yeah I know I shouldn't be patting myself on the back for this thing but actually I'm kind of sort of proud about what I have achieved so far so you only seen back about six months of work but actually I have been preparing for this uh, uh, YouTube uh, experience for about uh, one year 16 months or so by now and before that i well i did a bit of planning and soul searching so to my <laughs> well to my uh, disappointment and shame actually this is we're talking here about approximately two years and i hope that this has been worthwhile speaking of which i want to sh to give a, a huge thanks to all my supporters and my viewers uh, I know to the new uh, comers to this channel there's not a lot of subscribers or views but actually from uh, the people I know I have received a lot of encouragement and a lot of well thumbs up and stuff like that so yeah thank you uh, thanks to all of you for well lending you my cars lending me your cars and letting me well make a fool of myself while attempting to entertain you this brings me to my next point uh, what is this channel about well actually it's a about a lot of things what I would like to uh, <laughs> to achieve is mostly quality content I know that <clears throat> I'm not the most knowledgeable guy out there in terms of cars and car data and car uh, informations, but trust me, 
I do know some bits. I'm actually a true petrol head car guy, but as I've stated in my previous episodes, I'm one of those theoretical petrol heads that just, well, gathers data, but doesn't have many, many experiences to back it up. So in a way, I hope that this channel will grow and I will grow along it. I know that's a rather vague and confusing answer to give, but there you have it. I'm mostly about uh, inf <coughs> informative entertainment, if you will, although the entertainment part will come more organically later on throughout the series. I don't want to force any lame jokes because at heart I'm not a true entertainer. I can perform in front of the camera somewhat but not that great and I'm not a good actor. I didn't take up acting classes in high school and whatnot. So don't, uh, don't, uh, don't expect too much in that regard. I would like to be thorough in my presentations and actually give you a feel of the car that I am filming. I mean, let's be honest, I'm filming 1,000 euro cars, maybe three to 5,000 euro cars. Those are not quite expensive and, well, they're, they're old pieces of machinery. So if I get some data wrong, I do apologize. It's not for lack of trying, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to consider myself a, uh, or my channel, one of those channels that gives you the informative, uh, the informative side down to a T, down to perfection. It's just more of a kickback version of the uh, car review. Why did I choose to film this focus in such an improvised manner? Well, consider this. Uh, in a lot of ways, my YouTube channel is like this Ford Focus. They're both uh, drab and uninspiring, modest and sober looking without any glamour added to them. They're rough, uh, they're cheap and they're, well, not poorly made, but without too much attention to detail. Yet, they're both sort of entertaining and have a lot of potential. As my focus is fun to drive in some uh, instances, I truly hope that my YouTube channel, while mostly uh, mostly boring and monotonous, has seen some peak and some potential potential in some areas. So I guess that's my attempt at making a point and presenting you with a symbol, with a metaphor on uh, camera. I don't know if it's valid or not, <laughs> it remains to be seen. But I guess it's time to drive the damn thing and uh, fulfill those 100,000 kilometers. So driving the Ford Focus Mark II over the 100,000 kilometer threshold. Uh, thus far, this car has been well, fun, and it has given me some sort of glimpse into fun to drive vehicles and what the potential might be for me as a car guy, a petrol head, uh, uh, stuff like that. Plans for the future? As I've said, I've, I'm trying to expand this um, YouTube endeavor. So my uh, concrete plans for this uh, for this uh, channel. Uh, hopefully I'll get to film about 20 episodes. I know that that doesn't sound very much, but doing this in the spare time, you know, um, you're not able to, um, well, you're not able to, um, you don't afford to, um, to lose too much time on uh, filming. Also, I'd like to point out something that has been, uh, well, has been bothering me for quite some time now. Even though everybody is hugely supportive and, 
while encourages me and so on, not many people are willing to put their vehicles to my disposal. I know that this is not because of lack of trust in my, uh, in my activities, it's just the fact that, well, I have my job and my spare time, other people have their jobs and their spare time, and usually in their spare time they use those vehicles, so I'm left with few windows of opportunity to film. Consider also that, well, sometimes uh, the weather conditions or uh, um, stuff like that isn't the most... Uh, isn't the most friendly or the most encouraging like right now yeah it's beautiful and it's snowing outside but also the car is dirty there's a lot of mud there's a lot of slush and yes yeah, so i don't get too many chances to film plus there's the odd holiday or so so then i just can't be bothered even if i wanted to i don't really get the chance but you get the idea but at least um, I sort of became a bit more um, enthusiastic in my speech. I've perfected my English uh, somewhat. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I, I'm, again, I'm fairly confident that this is the right thing that I am doing. I'm doing this out of passion. I don't expect monetary um, gains. Well, in the near future anyway, maybe two or three years from now on, I might be able to make some money out of it, which would be nice, but nothing that spectacular. I would most likely not be able to uh, sustain myself financially just by filming, so I won't be, I won't get to do this as a full job. Most unlikely that's, that will happen. Uh, you never know, but I don't really have my sight set on, you know, by the end of the year I will be a successful YouTuber. No, it doesn't go like that, but it's subtle. It allows me to uh, widen my horizons and most important, it allows me to do uh, things that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about cars, so it only seems natural that uh, that I take this step. I just didn't have the confidence up until this point or the necessary uh, financial status to back, up, back it up with hardware. Uh, cameras, microphones and the like. I will be doing a small episode in which I will be explaining what I actually uh, use as uh, camera hardware, uh, but that will come later on. And we have reached 99,999 kilometers with the focus. Yay! Well, <laughs> I don't know why I'm celebrating because it's not something really that impressive, but it's the whole point of today's video. So there you have it 99,999 kilometers waiting for 100,000 kilometers. Let's go, focus! Just a bit more, just a bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, 100,000 kilometers, come on. Yeah, actually I tried to stage that one, but I got it on the GoPro, so no worries. I, I am actually filming real life. I just, uh, well, I just kind of missed the moment. In my head it was supposed to come later, but uh, I missed it by about 10, 10 seconds of, dri of driving or so. Uh, nevertheless, here we are at 100,000 kilometers with my Ford Focus. Here's to another 100,000 kilometers in my Ford Focus. And here's to another great YouTube season that I can, that I hopefully will bring to you. and. Oh, most important, here's to a better 2022. My best wishes to all my viewers. And, well, I wasn't going to say anything because I'm strictly uh, automotive on this channel. But let's hope we get a better world and we, we get rid of this pandemic.
So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>